The back wall trim piece is the first piece to be installed. Take a measurement above the back panel from sheetrock to sheetrock. Cut this piece to length. Since the length of this piece is from sheetrock to sheetrock, you will need to notch the trim piece so it will fit from sidewall panel to opposite sidewall panel. Notice the notch and the fit here in this picture. Apply adhesive to the back of this trim piece, being careful not to get adhesive too close to the bottom lip. Go ahead and install this trim piece, making sure it's level. Notice that you may keep the trim piece from slipping down by applying a couple of strips of painter's tape as shown. Alternatively, using a couple of 1 to 2 inch strips of double face tape will hold the trim piece in place while the adhesive cures as well. Place these strips about 30 inches apart on the back of the trim piece. Apply a thin bead of adhesive, being careful not to cover your double face tape and install the trim piece according to your level line. You now draw a level line from the back wall trim piece. This mark will be the top side of the side wall trim piece. You also need a plumb line marked on the outside of the vertical trim piece or the longer trim piece. Just a small mark near the top of the trim piece will do. These marks represent measure marks for the two side wall trim pieces. Measure from the floor to the level mark. This is the measurement for your vertical side trim piece. Measure the distance from the back wall trim piece to the plumb line mark. This is the measurement for the shorter top horizontal trim piece. Dry fit, then apply adhesive and install. This is the finished look with the Royale Tub Kit. If you have a tub kit without the tub legs, your trim piece will run up alongside the bathtub. Generally, bathtubs have a slight curved top, so your project will look much better if you can scribe and round your trim piece to fit the contour of the tub. Hold the trim piece tight to the tub and draw a scribe line up to and including the contour. Now position this finished piece against the tub and plumb it. To avoid a hollow area, use a scrap piece of the panel to fill in the void. Glue the scrap piece of the panel to the wall. This will ensure a solid base on which to glue. Dry fit and make sure the contour fits nicely to the tub. Plumb and mark your trim and proceed with the install as shown before.